Strikeout ALS 2014 Ice Bucket Challenge. Not yet. In addition to donating to, to this cause, I'm going to end up nominating people after I myself bear the burden of 10 pounds of ice and a lot of water. Let's get it done. Go, baby, go! <laughs> Come on! Oh my! Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Pat Proverbs here from 1N Gaming, throwing up those heavy fucking ones. And as promised, there was the abridged version of me actually getting the ice bucket dumped on me. I did beep out some of the explicatives that were used. I hope you enjoyed that. It was for a good cause. I know I enjoyed it. I've actually had to do it twice now, um, and it's really good to see the awareness spreading. What you guys are watching is a gameplay by me. I know it's very rare at this point. This is a very old gameplay. Um, it's like a 33. It's a decent speed of new, a decent speed nuclear. Nothing spectacular. It's on code, my favorite uh, Black Ops 2 map of all time. Um, and the focus of today's video, I'm actually doing two videos on this channel today and a third for um, a Sub Sunday friendly post for post, which I'm going to get more into... Um, in today's later video, which will be a Call of Duty Ghost video, I haven't really decided on which one yet. Uh, I just figured I wanted a nice brief video to talk about what I have to talk about today. And the commentary topic is fun. Use your imagination. Um, earlier today I was driving to the gym and almost hit something that looked like a very sickly coyote. Um, I live in New Jersey and therefore it's very rare to see. Upon closer inspection, I did hold up traffic to take a picture of it. It did have a braided tail with a ball, much like a Brillo pad looking ball, on the end of its tail. Now, it kind of looked like the fabled Mexican chupacabra, um, the coyote creature with the fangs and like the spiked tail and whatnot. And so what I want to really talk about like for the next two minutes is... Mythical creatures and do they exist or did they ever exist? Now you have like your whole like Nat Geo channel, Discovery channel. I mean, there's people who make millions of dollars hunting Sasquatch, which is ridiculous to me. But at the same time, like who am I to judge? Some people, some scientists imp have empirical evidence that suggests that a creature that resembled Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the Yeti, once upon a time existed. Now it's not like, and that's just some people's claims. It's not like accepted, you know, common knowledge. But, like, who's to say that the Loch Ness Monster, uh, you know, chupacabras, um, manticores from medieval times, you often see them depicted on people's shields and swords and, and, and halls in, in medieval times. Um, what am I, what else am I forgetting? I know there's any number of things. Oh, the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Who knows? I mean, it's actually food for thought, and I know it sounds childish, but it's always fun to use one's imagination and actually think about, like, you know, most rumors and myths are based in some kind of truth, uh, misconstrued truth, um, you know, people embellishing stories of something that once upon a time was a fact, and that's a proof, that is proven. Um, most myths are rooted in some kind of truth. Uh, they're not just completely fabricated out of midair. There was something there behind them to begin this whole, like, rumor mongering or whatever you want to call it. So, I have the photos that I took, like, literally of my on my iPhone. Um, I would be glad to post them. The thing is a hideous looking fucking creature. I can tell you that much right now. Like, gross. Like, out of control gross. But, um, like I said, guys, you saw the ice bucket challenge. I got iced. Nice little brief commentary. Use your imagination. What do you think? Did any of these creatures ever exist in one form or another at some point on our uh, biological world timeline? I mean, I think probably some of them or some something that resembled them did. Uh, let me know in the comments. This is upload one of one today, one of two today. The second will be following in a few hours, and then I'll explain more about this uh, sub Sunday tomorrow and how I'm really excited for the future of this team. For anything and everything. Keep it tuned right fucking here. Stay fucking beautiful, guys, and I'll see you in a few hours. Don't get anxiety. I'll be right back, I promise.